All right. Hey, welcome everybody to this episode of the Marketing Checklist Viewcast. I think it's episode number 20 something. Sure. Well, I know it's something 20s. Uh, we're Sharon and Hank Uloff from Uloff Creative Marketing Solutions. When you're looking to solve your marketing sales HR challenges, we're the small business coaches that you call. On this viewcast, you will meet and learn from successful entrepreneurs who are out there making it happen right now. Yep. And here's how it works. We have pre-sent the questions to all our guests uh, and they're going to share their answers with you and we'll have a conversation along the way. And here's the kicker. The interview itself will be just seven minutes and 21 seconds long. Why 721? That's our wedding anniversary. There you go. July 21. So let's get started. Um, why don't you introduce our guest today, our Jennifer? guest today is Jennifer Mogan. That's Mogan, not Morgan. Yeah, don't, don't make that mistake. <laughs> and yeah. she is with Park Place Payments. You know, but before we start, she yes. has an unusual side hustle. She does have an unusual side hustle. Jennifer. Or maybe this is the side hustle. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're, a tra you're a trained professional. What do you do? Yes, um, I am actually an anesthesiologist um, who's also in the payments industry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that's just too fun not to mention. <laughs> Indeed. So Indeed. Why, why don't we get started? I'm ready to hit the clock when you finish the first question. Okay, so here's the first question. Keeping in mind that we only have a three-story building, what is your elevator story? So yes, as we mentioned, I am an anesthesiologist um, and also in the payments industry. Um, I know this is a really unlikely combination, but I think COVID's kind of created a lot of stories like this. Um, I had a lot of anxiety about being on the front lines of anesthesia and it forced me to take a little temporary step, step back from being in the operating room. And in order to help fill that void, um, I ended up learning about the world of credit card processing through a really good friend who helped to found Park Place Payments. Um, it's a female founded company that's determined to make a change in this industry. And the more I learned about it, the more I was motivated to be a part of that change and to use what I'd learned to help my colleagues in medicine, my friends, business owners in my circle um, with this part of business. Awesome. So give a little more. What is your business really all about? So any business that accepts credit card payments needs to have a payment processing company. Um, it's essential, but it's a really frustrating part of doing business. And truly the trick is trying to minimize the expense while still getting the service and the technology to help you run this part of your business smoothly. Um, Park Place Payments was founded with the mission to bring honesty, transparency, and integrity to this industry. Um, and it's full, uh, the industry itself is just full of poor practices, a really bad reputation. And so our goal is to try to educate merchants so that they can make the best choice for their business. Perfect. And why should our listeners flock to you? Um, truly, there's just so much value in knowledge, um, and this is really where I see the parallel between medicine and what I'm doing now. Um, truly, the more you know, the better decisions you can make. Um, just like in medicine, a lab value is just a number, um, and it really doesn't mean much to the patient. It doesn't mean much to the physician without some sort of frame of reference or a history and physical, um, and it's kind of the same in the world of payments. Everyone focuses on, you know, what rate are you getting, which is what the industry has trained us to do, um, but truly the rate doesn't really mean much without the context of the pricing structure, the fees associated with it, um, the technology that you're using and very importantly, the service that goes along with it. You know, I will, I will add just this little bit. We're going to go a little long because I'm going to add this little bit. Um, when I met Jennifer and we started this conversation, I actually researched quite a bit. I think I've, I've spoken with five competitors of Jennifer's and I've come back to, nope, it's got to be Jennifer. And we're going to, after this, we're going to sign up ourselves and um, complete that application. So I can't, I can't recommend them more highly than I have. I've certainly researched them. I've looked at others and no, it's got to be Jennifer. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. That means a lot. <laughs> you bet. Um, okay. Finally so getting to the application, <laughs> she thinks. Yeah. Uh, what tips can you give to our listeners? Um, the biggest tip is truly just be informed and know that there are options out there. A lot of people don't realize what options are available. They hear the big names like Square or Stripe or just default with going with their bank. And or, or you, uh, what is it, uh, PayPal? Yes. 
Yes, and the thing is, is that usually the other options that are out there like Park Place or other traditional payment processing companies can provide you with better pricing structures, lower rates and definitely better service. Awesome. Uh, okay, what's an amusing job title from what you do? I've been saying doctor in payments. Um, and kind mm, of, doctor just, payments, like, call doctor for payments. you. <laughs> and kind of going along with the um, specialty of anesthesia, kind of the subtitle of giving you a wake up call for your payments. Yeah. That's good. Don't fall asleep on your chart on the charges you're being, you know, levied. Yeah. Something like that. Don't fall asleep. Yeah, don't fall asleep on your what's the form you get? Your payment. They tell you. Oh, your merchant statement. That's it. Don't fall asleep <laughs> on the statement. Dog, got it. Good job. Wow, I speak for a living. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are the most common questions that you get about your business? So I would say the first most common question is definitely, well, what is your rate? Because that's the first thing everyone goes to. What is your rate? Which again, I'll say there's just so much more to it than just the rate. Um, but unlike other companies, we use a rate card to establish fair rates. Um, it's mostly based on sales volume, um, but a very common practice out there is finding out what rate you're currently getting, just undercutting it enough to get the business and then padding the bill elsewhere with other fees um, or you know, other poor practices. So, so asking what the rate is, is not the most important question. I would say the other most common question I get is, um, especially from people who don't understand what I do is, are you like Square? Um, to which I would say yes and no. Um, like Square, we do process credit card payments. That is the goal of the business. But um, Square, Stripe, and PayPal are what are known as merchant aggregators. So every merchant that's using any of those businesses is under, or any of those companies is under the same umbrella. Similar to if you and everyone in your town went out and opened a joint bank account together. So you are all sharing the same account, sharing the same risk. Um, with a traditional payment processing company like Park Place, then you have your own protected merchant account and you get much more in the way of account benefits and customer service. Um, the other thing is that Square, PayPal, and Stripe all use flat rate pricing, which can be very expensive, especially if your business is processing more than $10,000 a month. So what was the most unusual or unexpected thing you found when you started doing into the wonderful world of payment processing? <laughs> I would say the most unexpected thing is actually a good thing. Um, early on when I was first starting and doing um, payment checkups, which is where we do a free direct side-by-side -side comparison against our rate card, um, one of the very first payment checkups I did, it showed over $30,000 a year in savings for this particular business. So I was floored um, and that definitely helped to motivate me to continue to share what I'd learned and, and help the people that I know in business. Wow, that that was like with one of our clients last year, we tweaked one thing in our marketing plan and she made $40,000 more profit. So it's amazing what you find if you do a little bit of looking. So right. that's, that's awesome. Um, what's your favorite tool that you use to do what you do? Uh, I wish I had a better answer for this, but I still keep going back to the old fashioned pen and paper, my daily to-do <laughs> list. That's how I get things done. Um, and my my virtual assistant, Hey Siri. She's probably listening right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's what four letter word describes either your business or you? Um, I like the word true. That's the heart of it. Okay. Uh, I think I know the answer to this one, but what makes you happiest in your business? Uh, um, I think the gratification of being able to help business owners with this part of their business that most people really don't know much about or pay any attention to. And one really exciting part is when I get the results of a payment checkup that I've submitted to the office, it's kind of like opening a Christmas present or finding out what's behind door number two and let's make a deal. Um, so what are the savings going to be? You know, is it, is it going to be there? There aren't any savings or is it going to be $30,000? Um, so it's anywhere really, in between. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's exciting to be able to help them save so significantly, especially right now with COVID when, you know, every penny counts. So one of the questions we ask everybody, what did you learn in nursery school that has helped you in business? Um, how important it is to make friends. Relationships are what help to make you successful and you, you can't get anywhere without them. 
Awesome. Is there a, a number one fantasy lead you could get from somebody watching uh, the ViewCast today? So truly my fantasy lead, um, I love Shark Tank. <laughs> my family and I watch Shark Tank all the time. And I really think it would be cool to work with any of the sharks as they help out the new entrepreneurs um, embarking on their journeys because they've not yet really experienced the world of credit card processing. And so to be able to help them start out with um, a company that is really looking out for their back, um, I think that would be just fabulous. Okay. Um, and if someone's listening that likes joint ventures, uh, what's the best lead for you? Who should, be, who should see this and say, oh, that's me? Um, so as a joint venture, I would say my the ideal partner would be first someone who shares the ideals of Park Place. So practicing with transparency and integrity. Um, and secondly, a great joint venture is really anyone who works with um, and whose opinion is valued by many small and medium sized businesses. So accountants or bookkeepers or web developers, business coaches, marketing companies. Um, I really just think that businesses with integrity will find each other. Very, very good. And the last question, uh, if someone's gonna begin the conversation with you, uh, how do they connect with you and, and do you have a special offer that you can give to them? Absolutely. So you can reach me on social media, um, on LinkedIn or Alignable um, or Facebook under Jennifer Mogan. Um, or so you can also go to our website, parkplacepayments.com, and you can request um, a free payment checkup there. So we offer what we call a payment checkup. It's a free, no obligation um, offer where we can analyze and do a direct side-by-side -side comparison of your current pricing, technology, and service against an honest standard. Um, truly, like we mentioned, you just, you never know what you can find unless you look. Um, at the very least, we could confirm if maybe you already have fair pricing. That's valuable information in and of itself. Um, best case scenario is we're able to help you with um, our, your bottom line and that we can help you realize that there is, um, we can provide you with service that you really didn't know existed in this industry. Awesome. And with that, we're at time. Awesome. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so make sure that you go and connect with Jennifer Mogan at parkplacepayments.com. And if you want to connect with us, go to freemarketingconsultation.com. Yep. Uh, when you sign up at freemarketingconsultation.com, uh, most people report back, back that that interview, that 30-minute success call was worth at least $10,000, either in sales found uh, or in savings. We can find a lot of ways to make your business more successful quickly. And if you would like to be on the ViewCast as well, then make sure you let us know when we are talking at your free marketing consultation.com. Awesome. See you next time, everybody.